Hello, and welcome to Weedster Fairy Tales and Pop Poetry with Dana Larson. Tonight we have a Weedster Fairy Tale called The Pie-Eyed Piper of Petrolia. Once upon a time, there was a happy little village called Petrolia. The people of Petrolia were well-fed and well-dressed because their village was blessed with the great lake of bubbling black goo. Well, the black goo must have been magical because the people of the village were able to fashion it into all sorts of wonderful things. Using simple machines, the goo was easily transformed into useful substances of all sorts, shapes, and colors. Most of the villagers were employed in the goo industry, and every aspect of their lives was intertwined with the goo. They used the goo to build their homes, to make their paints and brushes and combs. They used the goo to fuel goo cars and make goo plastic Tupperware jars. Their clothes were all made out of the goo, from their fancy hats to the soles of their shoes. They used the goo to make toys and tops, and even to feed their growing crops. They used the goo in creams and soaps, plus to make pipes and chains and ropes. They used the goo to make milk and cheeses, and tissue to cover their noses from sneezes. The goo was used to build benches and tables and posters and sticky-backed envelope labels. They even made medicines using the goo. It seemed there was nothing the goo couldn't do. But one day, the villagers were alarmed to see that the lake of goo was starting to get smaller. It was slowly shrinking, and they did not know what to do. How will we survive? they cried. How will we live our lives without goo? Every day, the villagers saw the lake of black goo get smaller and smaller. Soon they called a meeting in the village square to decide what to do. It seemed everyone had a different idea about the right solution. Some of the villagers wanted to travel to the next village and see if they had any goo. Others wanted to dig holes in the earth all around the town to try and find another lake of goo underground. Still others said the lake wasn't really getting smaller at all, that it was simply an optical illusion caused by shadows and the sun. They talked and debated all through the day, and as evening came, the villagers were no closer to, the, to agreement. As the sun began to set, there appeared in the village square an odd little man, <clears throat> wearing bright, well-fashioned clothes of red, green, and gold. In his hand, he held a long water pipe of shimmering glass. I can solve your goo problem, said the little man in a strange, high-pitched voice. But what will you pay me in return? Anything, cried the villagers. Anything at all, said the mayor. Done and done, said the little man. I shall return on the morrow to solve your problem. Well, the villagers were very excited and wondered amongst themselves how the little man was going to refill their lake full of black goo. When the morning came, the little man appeared again in the village square, and he was sitting on a great round barrel. This barrel contains a solution to your problems, said the little man, tapping it with his shimmering glass water pipe. Is it full of goo? asked the mayor. One barrel of goo won't even last us a week, cried the villagers in dismay. This barrel does not hold any goo, said the little man. It is full of seeds. Seeds from the world's most wonderful plant. Seeds, cried the villagers. But we use goo to make the fertilizer which grows our plants. Not to worry, said the little man. This plant grows very well without any goo fertilizer. And from this plant, you can make everything that you currently make from the goo. The villagers had many questions and they all spoke at once. Can this plant provide clothes from my head to my toes? I don't wish to be rude, but will this plant grow us food? That sounds pretty rough. A plant to make stuff? You must be a fool. No plant can make fuel. Is it really, really true? Can this plant do... Oh, 
fuck. I'm gonna go back. Nah. The villagers had many questions, and they all spoke at once. Can this plant provide clothes from my head to my toes? I don't wish to be rude, but will this plant grow us food? This sounds pretty rough. A plant to make stuff? You must be a fool. No plant can make fuel. So what is the deal? Can this herb help us heal? Is it really, really true? Can this plant do all the goo can do? Yes, this marvelous plant can do all of that, replied the little man, hopping down from the barrel. And more. The first thing you should know is that this plant makes many seeds. You can press them for an oil that meets so many needs. You can eat this oil for its fine nutrition. You can burn it as a fuel to meet any ambition. What's left of the seed can be used to make cake and other fine foods which you also can bake. If you press the seeds differently, you can make milk and cheeses and yogurts that taste smooth as silk. The stalk of this plant is made of two parts. To separate them is the simplest of parts. The inner part is... Ah, fuck. Yes, this marvelous plant can do all of that, replied the little man, hopping down from his barrel. And more. The first thing you should know is that this plant makes many seeds. You can press them for an oil that will meet so many needs. You can eat this oil for its fine nutrition. You can burn it as a fuel to meet any ambition. What's left of the seed can be used to make cake and other fine foods which you also can bake. If you press the seeds differently, you can make milk and cheeses and yogurts that taste smooth as silk. The stalk of this plant is made of two parts. To separate them, is the simplest of arts. The outer part is fibers long, used for fabrics very strong. The inner part is a pulp called herd, the best darn stuff in the whole round world. The herd can be used to make paper and plastic plus fuel as well. It's truly fantastic. It grows in all soils and it helps clean the earth. I tell you, this plant is beyond any worth. Everything you do with goo, this wonderful plant can also do. The little man smiled as he spoke all these words. I hope that you've listened to all that you've heard. I have yet to mention the spectacular flowers which have such miraculous curative powers. These flowers can also help open your mind. Ideas and insights in you, you will find. And so I hope we're all agreed, this plant will give you what you need. You don't need the goo anymore. This plant can do what the goo did before. Well, some of the villagers smiled and looked pleased, but a man with a thick mustache and a fancy goo top hat stepped forward. But if your magic plant can make all of that stuff, some of us simply will not earn enough. What about our goo factories? Should we just shut them down? Said the man who owned the biggest goo factory in town. What about the... Goo workers, what would they all do? Asked the head of the union of workers with goo. You say this plant's seed can make milk? That is scary, said the man whose job was to turn goo into dairy. If this plant can help heal, then how will I earn my fee? Said the man who made goo pills for the town pharmacy. The little man smiled as he answered their cries. Using this plant would truly be wise. Some of you may have to learn different skills, but this marvelous plant can cure all of your ills. This plant sounds wondrous indeed, said the mayor slowly. Perhaps we should consider its use. Pray tell us, good sir, what is this plant called? <laughs>